What's up guys, it's Doug Dreams of Vertigo. You guys are watching Local Band Smokeout. It's usually closed. Well, you, you fiddle with that for a second. We'll, we'll make it work, but uh, okay. gentlemen, I appreciate you being here. Science yeah, Penguin! Hell yeah! Yeah! We're here for life. We're in the house. We're here. Fellas, before we get started, uh, please introduce yourself. Let me know how the tour was. Please plug and promote anything, and, and let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment. Well, I'm Matt. Uh, I played drums in Science Penguin, and tour was fantastic. It was so much work and so much fun, but it's the fun kind of work, so it's something that I love doing. Um, got to meet so many really, really cool people, see some really, really cool places, playing some really, really cool venues with some really cool bands, and it was uh, it was just fantastic all around. Um and you know right now the only thing we got on the calendar really we got like two things on the calendar one is one of the biggest shows we've ever been offered and we are going to play at the auto bar in baltimore on monday the second of october what makes that one so big uh the auto bar is like a venue that holds probably 500 uh, like uh, that's like 400 tops, but we're playing with um, some well, more well-established bands that we are not accustomed to playing at that level. Hell yeah, very cool. And you, so, Am I correct that, that you guys put the tour on yourself? Like you yeah, actually did, did all the booking and everything. Can you just go about the process of how a band that maybe watching wants to do that themselves. Like, I know that's a ton of work. Where did you start? Uh, so we, I did, I did all of the booking pretty much, uh, for this tour. Um, and I bet I'm full screen, Matt, just until you fix, okay. the, fix the cam thing. Sorry. I I'm, I'm working on it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. So sorry in advance. If you can only hear me and, don't oh, see good. me. No worries. Um, the, the light's on. I'm looking right at it, so I don't know what is happening. Anyways, um, so we we had um, been interested in touring a couple years ago. COVID derailed that, like it derailed everything else. Um, and then uh, when we got back into the swing of things in 2022, after our last album came out, we were like, okay, let's uh, maybe give it another shot, right? Uh, so we talked about it for a long time, figured out the amount of time that we could realistically go uh, and kind of mapped it all out uh, pretty far in advance. Like going back to the end of last year, we pretty much had a skeleton of the route that we wanted to go all put together. And then I guess I guess um, let me let me like rephrase the question. So sure. you, you started with like mapping out where you wanted to go. And then it's just a process of calling, like Googling nonstop, finding venues along the way and just calling them. Um, I did everything through email and social media. Hell yeah. And so um, most of the venues were, it was all email bands that we found to play with was mostly through uh, some form of social media. I tried to use Instagram for everything because it helped to stay organized and keep as much in one place as as you can but you know you, you got to work with what people got so looking back what are like three things that you did not bring on tour that you will absolutely bring on the next one three things um i honestly don't think i miss was missing anything while i was on tour you know i, yeah, I felt like so i surprisingly brought all the things that I needed to bring. I mean, I, I probably didn't need to bring a second set of uh, drum heads, <laughs> but I had them just in case. Yeah. I would say bring Hon them just in case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. honestly, we, we probably brought way more than we needed. Well, you got to be prepared. Now tell me, oh, yeah. tell me something that went wrong, because something always goes wrong. Like Oh, there were quite a few things. There we was, almost didn't there, have a tour. 
Yeah, we we came really close to not having a tour at all. Um, like real close, razor thin. What was that? A van mishap in the beginning. So we uh we actually rented a van to go on tour through a company called Turo, which is like Airbnb for cars. Um, so it was a van owned by a person. So we go to pick up the van and we get there. It's an hour and a half from my house. So Joel drives an hour to my house. Then we drive an hour and a half to go get the van. We're driving on the way back about 30 minutes into the ride. Joel gives me a call and he's like, hey, something's wrong. So I spin around and I go back and I see him like on the side of the road. And he's just like, um, yeah, the uh, front passenger wheel well is smoking. What? So we were just like, uh, well, what do? Because we didn't have a vehicle. Like, we didn't have a backup planned or anything like that. So it wasn't like we were just going to, you know, oh, it's fine. We'll just hop in the other van or anything right. like that. So we had yeah, to, like, all the, the way this back. This is the day before we're leaving for a month-long tour. So I imagine you call the guy and explain, because you're about to put, like, six, 7,000 miles on, and this isn't going to work. Does, does he, like, rush it into a mechanic shop or something? No, we uh, we kind of just ditched it. I got in touch with the owner and was like, hey, here's what's going on. Uh, and then we agreed that we were just going to leave it at this mall like five minutes from where we were at. Sent him a couple of pictures of like where we left it and kind of what it was in front of. And then <laughs> put the keys back in the um, the key holder on the window. And then we just kind of left it. Never looked back. And then on the way back to the house, we still had about an hour drive. During that hour, Joel is frantically looking for another van, another option that we could pick up either that night or the next morning because we had to like load up and get on the road to drive four and a half hours to New York to play our first show. And luckily found one that was like 15 minutes from my house that we could pick up the next morning at like 930. We were able to go get it, load it up, and that's the van we took on tour. And that van had no mechanical problems at all. We we ran ran it the whole time. Uh, we put a solid ten thousand miles on that thing. Dang! When can we expect a follow up EP or album to Why Am I Like This? Oh, that's gonna be a little bit. We uh, we're actually just thinking about getting back to writing, so um, we're gonna get back into that process. Um, we've honestly just kind of been taking a little bit of time to just breathe and get back to the normal life and stuff. Um, but we're probably going to start working that here in the next few weeks. And then, um, I don't know, it takes us a little while, so it might be a year, it might be two. I feel like I may have asked you this before, Joel, but I don't recall. Uh, have you guys ever entertained doing vocals or bringing on a vocalist, or, is it, or do you just want to always forever be instrumental? I don't think that we're opposed to it, but it has to be the right one. And... We've had a hard enough time keeping people to stick around as other members of this band. So until something sticks, we're kind of just doing with, doing it with what we got. Do you think using Toro is a route that more bands should be looking into? I would recommend it for smaller tours. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it for a larger, uh, for a larger tour. Uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna go out for the length of time that we did, just get a get a van through an established company. That's what it'll I would be, recommend. It'll be more money, but it'll be more reliable. For sure. It's not just it's not just some random dude's van that people beat to shit. What about uh like a like a established vocalist just hopping on for like one song as a feature? I think it'd be tight. Yeah. A feature would be cool. We yeah. we don't have a lot of money to throw at features, but it would be cool. So I saw some names of who you would consider, like assuming that their rates affordable. Mm. I always forget who was the dude that did the original Tesseract Altered State. It's not. It wasn't Dan. It was no. It was Ash. Ash, Ash O'Hara. Yeah. I feel like he would be really good, or Dan, honestly. I feel like yeah. it would have to be that kind of like ambient, spacey, like vocal style. Yeah, or honestly, screaming. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What did you guys do? Because it's just the two of you on the road the whole time, right? 
Yeah. Yep. What What did you do to, to pass the time? Did you guys come up with any games or anything? So actually, we didn't really um, do a whole lot. Well, Droll was driving. I kind of just like sat and watched anime and just kind of minded my business. And every once in a while, we would see something. He would see something funny, and we would laugh about it or something like that. Um, and then when we were like at venues, it was like go time. So we were just like in moving mode and like, you know, getting everything set up. And like, we had gotten really used to like, oh, you're going to do these things. I'm going to do these things. Like, you know, we just kind of like went our separate ways and made sure everything was set up. But like in between venues, it was just a whole lot of nothing but driving. So that's why I brought like an iPad and some beats. And I just like sat and watched TV and stuff like that. Read some books, things like that. Matt, what's the best anime ever made? Uh, well, I'm probably going to get some hate for it, but my personal favorite's Naruto. Nah, that's cool. Nah. Um, I haven't, I will say though, I haven't seen the other two of the big three. Uh, I haven't seen, um, One Piece of Bleach yet, but, uh, they're definitely on the list now that I've been through Naruto a couple times. Hell yeah, there's a lot of episodes if you've been through it a couple times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I started watching it as a kid. And then um, recently I was just like, I don't have any real world shows to watch. So let me just watch all of Naruto. So I just did that. And it took me probably like half a year to a year to just like be go through the whole thing. So no worries. Uh, yeah. Aside from uh, playing out, playing out more often, I know you said you have a big you have a big show coming up here very soon. Uh what can we expect the rest of 2023 and then looking forward to 2024 and beyond? Well, you might not hear a lot from us for the remainder of this year. Um, we, we have two shows, one of them being that big show coming up. Um, and then there's another one about a month from now. And then after that, we don't have anything else on the calendar. I'm not planning on adding anything else unless like, something just happened to come along that was too good to pass up, which is what that one uh, next week is. Like, I wasn't going to add any more shows, but we got asked to do that, and I was like, this is too cool to pass up. So unless something like that also comes along, we're going to probably just hunker down, start um, tinkering around with writing and kind of just figuring out what the what the heck we're going to do next. Maybe some announcements about writing. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you um, do you recall probably some I'm sorry. Probably some, you know, random 30 second clips of me bullshitting on the guitar every once in a while. <laughs> <He's> going, <laughs> do, do you remember meeting uh Michael Andriano and or Atria? Oh yeah. 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 Remember both of those guys. How how yeah. were those shows? They were it was super fun, man. Uh we we linked up with the Atria guys in in Wichita where they're from. And we played a we played a basement show with them. That one was um, cool. It was cool. Like it was a really small space, and it was a, you know it's a small show. So sometimes those are the best. Oh yeah. But yeah, like they were all really cool, and we really uh, enjoyed meeting them and playing with them. Lizzie wants to know what you guys thought about California, and was this your first time visiting California? Not for either of us, actually. <laughs> But California was cool. Um, we like got into L.A. a little early, so we got to just kind of hang out in L.A. and just chill. Um, and then the the place that we played was really cool. And L.A. was the the pirate bar that we played with. Here's to now, right, Joel? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a sick show. Like that one was yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was that was really fun. And that, that was a Wednesday night. We had mm -hmm. a pretty solid turnout. Um, for a Wednesday. You, you know, do, you, for, do you remember the name of the venue? Because I can't think of a pirate bar in LA. Uh, it's called Redwood Bar and Grill. Okay. It's like pretty much straight downtown. Cool. I'll have to, I'll have to check um, out that one. I don't remember where where exactly, but it's like smack dab downtown. Yeah, yeah. California is really cool. I mean, it's a, it's a great state. It's a great area. Like, it's very beautiful to drive through and see everything. And it was just, like, really nice to be able to just chill um, and then play, like, a banger of a show. So, I love to ask about munchies and food and stuff like that. Do you recall your best meal on the tour? And where was it at? Best meal. 
Because I know sometimes meals on the road are just, you know, drive through here, drive through there, whatnot. But where was the best meal? Honestly, for me, it might have been in L.A. Because um, my my girlfriend's parents live out there, and we uh, like met up with them, and they took us out to dinner. So I got uh, I got to eat like a steak on the road. It was nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> steak and potatoes, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> what, what would you say, Joel? Um, I don't know, man. I ate like shit the whole time. <laughs> yeah, bologna sandwich after a banger. Let's go. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta sometimes. Get those carbs and the 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 energy in through the baloney. I feel it. Uh, yeah, but California was California was nice because we actually had like a little bit of time off. Um, we essentially had like a day and a half. We didn't do anything because we were pretty tired. But um, it was nice to have a little break there. We'll do a, a couple more. Uh, I just want to know if you guys are scared of anything. You have any phobias? I mean, I don't like being up high. Yeah, heights and spiders. Heights and I've, spiders. I've actually grown a little more accustomed to spiders now. Yeah, it's not as bad now as it used to be, but um, I don't, I don't much care for them i heard that they're remaking uh arachnophobia oh good <laughs> so that movie should be pretty yep. terrifying for well, you that's, guys <laughs> that's one that i won't be going to go see <laughs> for sure <laughs> hell yeah uh what do you what do you hope to accomplish with your music let's say let's say it's it's 10 or 15 years in the future and you're looking back maybe science fang would still exist maybe it doesn't but what what are you going to be most proud that you accomplished looking back on your music? It's a deep one. That is. It is. Um, I don't know. I am definitely proud of the music that we have made throughout our existence. Like we've uh, we've grown a lot. We've learned a lot. Uh, we've gotten to do some pretty cool things that. You know, some bands at our level uh, don't really get to do. So um, if we stopped being a band tomorrow, I would be proud of the things that we've done. I think it'd be really cool um, to be able to say that um, throughout the entirety of this band, we made music that was enjoyable to at least someone. You know, like other than us, you know, it's like, yeah, we like our music and it's like really cool that we were able to go on this tour and see that there are a bunch of people that were like, they really liked our music and the Velda was really cool. And it's like, you know, I, I don't have any like miss. Con- I don't know what the word is. I don't have any like uh, <laughs> like delusions of grandeur that we're going to like blow up and become the next animals as leaders or anything like that. But I just think it would be cool to be able to just like hang out with some friends, meet some friends like in other bands and just be able to like enjoy each other's music that we make, you know? My last question for you guys is, and it's probably the most important one. Who comes up with the band names? Because I'm I'm sorry, with the song names, because I love them. The song titles (laughs) are uh, very unique. (laughs) That's actually a combo. Um, So usually what it is, is when we're right, when we're in the writing phase, uh, we'll be sitting around having like chilling at each other's houses or something, smoking a cigar, or drinking some beers or some whiskey or something. And one of us will just look at the other and be like, yo, I saw, I thought of something really funny today <laughs> and it'll just be like, uh, eating plastic. So turtles don't have to, you know, <laughs> like something like that. It's just like, all right, that's going in. So we would just like keep a list of all of the song names, all the ridiculous things we come up with. I'm sure I still have like a hundred or 150 of them written down somewhere. I'm wondering <laughs> if, if you remember like one or two that didn't make the cut that you can oh, recall. I mean, I can, I can look right now as I'm sure I have a bunch <laughs> written down. Um, I know that there was, so there's, uh, there's probably like, 200 on there that oh it's it's absurd that we never actually never actually used because uh it's a lot easier to come up with a funny song name than it is with the actual song of course (laughs) so we've got we've got i mean i'm literally look 
like I'm pulling up and here's the list of all of the funny like just things. <laughs> That's oh, just yeah, for the most lot. recent album. Like, and that doesn't include all the ones that I added to my list. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got things like Exorcism at the Hardware Store. We got things like Lizard Sex Satellite. Um, there's Let's Take Boner Pills and Go to the Aquarium. I don't know. Joel was on a big <laughs> aquarium thing <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> like, yeah, I, don't, also... I don't know what that was about. but <laughs> This one's really good. My mom may hate my ass pics, but the Pope be double tapping. <laughs> I love it. I, I, please give me a couple of these when you guys when you guys uh, come out with the next one. Just give me the craziest titles ever. Oh, oh yeah, they're, oh, they're not going to get any less wild. Excellent, excellent. Or or dumb. Like it's just a list of the dumbest shit you've ever heard of in your life. It Those make, make the greatest, the best titles though. Sometimes exactly, especially yeah, for instrumental like, music. You know, it's like who absolutely. cares? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, there's no message or lyrics or anything like it it's just dumb instrumental music and then we can just call it whatever we want so it can be the most ridiculous thing i love it well fellas i appreciate you both joining uh matt and joel thank you guys i'm glad you the, the trip was safe you got to eat a lot of earth sandwiches on the yeah. road and uh <laughs> just we a I, I hope <laughs> a lot i hope that the uh the big show coming up around the corner is sold out. You guys sell a bunch of merch, man. You meet some new friends and and uh, people to you know support you guys. But uh, we love your music here on, on this show, man. And uh, just just please don't be a stranger. We'll invite you back in the future if that's cool with you. Absolutely, yeah, of course, yeah, we'd love to. Yeah. Thank you so much for having always. us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, really. we uh, we always appreciate you. It's always good to see you. I'm sorry I couldn't make the Wednesday one in California, but I will try not to let that happen again. Oh, it's all yeah, good. that's all good, man. Wednesdays are are tough days for shows, so. And we've been talking about potentially doing just like a like an East Coast and then a West Coast, just like separate tours instead of trying to cover the entire country next time. So I'm sure we'll be back out that way. Don't worry. All yeah. right, cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, we we'll make our way it. back out there eventually. No idea when, but. Hopefully sooner than later. Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, Matt and Joel, you guys have an excellent day. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Science yeah, Penguin! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I got to take off Thanks, man. late tonight, but I'll try and have this interview posted sometime early afternoon tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks we'll so we'll, we'll make sure to send you the link and everything. Yeah, yeah totally. no worries. Sounds good. Hell awesome. Yeah. Cheers. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.